Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be creating this poster inspired by an Are You Afraid of the Dark episode, The Tale of the Hatching. Let's get started. So for years, people have asked me, what is your favorite episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark? And I've always said The Tale of the Vacant Lot. And that still stands true today. However, if I had to put together maybe a top five or a top three, uh, Vacant Lot would definitely be at the top. The Lonely Ghost would be right underneath that. And then The Hatching. I love The Hatching. So I made this poster uh, about six months ago, probably around that time uh, of the vacant lot. And I really like it a lot. I like this uh, layout. I, I really like how everything is, uh, how everything is presented here. Um, I, th I think that it uh, represents the episode really well. So I'd like to do something similar for the hatching. And I have done the lonely ghost as well, but I, I just, um, I, I wanted to show the vacant lot because that one is my favorite one. And it's between the two, it's definitely my favorite poster. And if you want, I can show you um, the lonely ghost one as well. <clears throat> so let me go in here and grab this. So there's the lonely ghost right there. and I. I think it would be cool to have like a, a series of three, so I'm gonna do the hatching. All right, so this is the file, the working file that I have uh, going on here. And my size for this is 18 by 24. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create this completely from scratch. I don't wanna use any kind of uh, template that's already there or layout or anything. Um, the vacant lot layout and the lonely ghost layout are, are different. So I want to do something different again. You know, I, I want them, each one of them to be unique. So let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and type out um, the hatching. And this is the font that I'm using. It's uh, Am Ambrose standard. So let's do this and bring this up. I need to see what the actual width on this is and I'm using a warp tool as well so I need to figure out exactly how to make those match <clears throat> okay so this is going 16 uh, across and I'm just gonna bring this over here so that I can have some kind of a reference uh, here because I want all of these to match each other so it's gonna be a little bit challenging because we have um, you know, like the vacant lot and the lonely ghost has just has just a few words uh, has has three words, but the hatching is only two words. So I have to see what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna just set this at 200, and then I'll grab these guys right here and maybe take them down to. Actually, you know what? It's been a while since I've done this. I I, I couldn't remember exactly how I did it, but now I do. I, I do remember how I did it. So it was uh, the arc. Um, it's uh, actually arc lower, I believe. And I believe that it's probably negative 10% there. We'll just kind of play around with this until we can get it exactly right. I'm gonna bring this here and I want to get those letters to match up. There we go. That looks about right. Now let's make it the actual width, which is 16 inches going across. And now we'll readjust these, um, readjust these letters. Good. All right, so now, okay, that looks good. The only thing I wanna make sure that I do is bring down, oh, that G is gonna be interesting because we've gotta, we've gotta bring this, we gotta bring these down to where it'll, to where it'll match up. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep the T from the vacant lot and get rid of the, um, <clears throat> get rid of the one in the hatching. Okay. And now I just got to figure out what in the world I'm going to do with this G. <laughs> I didn't even think about that until now. So let's do this. I'm going to grab this T and the rest of... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to grab the other ones. There we go. 
Let's bring this up here and then bring this up here. Good. Align that to the top. It already is. Is it? Well, I guess. Oh, it's aligned. Yeah, let's optically align this. Okay, that's better. Okay, and now we just have to skew this G, I guess. Let's see what our options are. Oh, that looks ugly. I guess we're just gonna have to stretch the whole thing. There we go. Okay, well, it definitely, it definitely looks better than the other one did. <laughs> so, but uh, because we don't have a letter that is, you know, that, that ends with that, like a nice long slender line, um, and you know, we've got a G, we just have to work with it. Okay, so I think that this is gonna be the way to go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and combine that. And let's put, let's drop that onto our artboard. And I wanna see exactly where it falls on the artboard so I can match it up. Okay. Put this over here. Good. All right. Now for this, uh, the little tagline right here, I'd like to do a quote from the actual episode. What's going on here? There we go. And I'd like to keep it, you know, because we have the, uh, I have exactly what you need look closer. Um, you know, that's kind of drawing, uh, that's kind of drawing the viewer in. So I'd like to do something that's similar to that, you know, um, you know, this one right here for a lonely ghost, how does one prove that they're not a Zeb? Vacant lot, I have exactly what you need, look closer. And then for the hatching, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? You know what? I'm going to take a pause for a second and I'm going to go find a quote, uh, from it. And, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and trim this out, uh, so that you don't have to watch me looking for a quote to use. Okay. So I think that the quote I'm going to use is you haven't seen anything yet and I kind of like how that goes together you know this one's a question this one is declarative this one is exclamatory so I like that and let's stretch this out you know what it's it's kind of a short phrase so I'm gonna stretch it all out and I'm gonna go ahead and create outline so we can get it exactly 16 inches across and I'm going to align this to my selection. It's perfect. Okay. Now, um, we have for Lonely Ghost, we've got a wide uh, image and then also kind of like a squarish image. For Vacant Lot, we've got vertical and then a square. Um, these are the images that I found that I want to that I want to possibly work with. So um, the, uh, the characters in the episode go to a boarding school. So I like that idea. And then either using the scales from the snake or possibly this lizard right here, I actually like this. Um, although it is kind of a spoiler. So what I might do is I might take a portion of it, just, just the scales. So I think that I might do that instead. So I like the... So what we'll do is we'll kind of put this on the right side, bring it in by an inch to keep our keep our margins, and then we'll do the same. And then we'll do this right here. So I like I like this. And we'll bring over, as told by Kiki, and we're going to change this to David because David is the one that told the story. <clears throat> and then we have to have the um, the square uh, right here with the quote. And I already know what the quote is. <laughs> so I actually put that together before I started doing the, before I started doing the recording. So I like this layout uh, right here. It kind of mirrors 
the vacant lot a little bit, but it is cha it is changed around just a little bit. So I'm going to grab this quote right here, and looks like it's going to perfectly fit in. I'm going to I'm going to uh, size it up just a little bit because I would like it to completely take up the um, the space there. Okay, so my story is about two kids who have to go to who have to go to a new school, but this school is far stranger than they could ever imagine. So I like that. And since we let me let me take a look at what the final version of the vacant lot did, and then also the lonely ghost. I might go back and edit the lonely ghost um, because this one has italics in it, and I'm not too big a fan of it. And yeah, I, de I definitely want them all to match. So I, I might actually go back and change the uh, the Lonely Ghost one because I'm not too big on the italics. So maybe I'll make another video um, cleaning that up. Or re really, it's just a couple of edits, so I don't think that's necessary. Okay, so um, I, I already uh, have written this down. This is episode 25, so we need to... Uh, do the same thing uh, with this little shape. And let's bring our tracking back down. And I think that I used bold for this. It's possible. Let's, you know what, let's, to be on the safe side, let's scale it down just to make sure because I, because I want all of them to match. So it looks like I did use bold for it. And looks like, yeah, for some reason, yeah, let this be a lesson. Always save your original, <laughs> your original text layers because I don't think that I did in this case. Okay, so we'll ungroup this and get this out of here. Okay, um, let's see, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the kerning and tracking on that. So we'll go ahead and put this inside of this shape and it fits nicely. All right, so now we'll do the now we'll do this right here. We'll do the minus and that actually cuts it out of the shape. And I also got to figure out what colors I'm going to be using. Obviously, green is going to be uh, green is probably going to be what I go with. Let me see where I put the episode. Okay, so I put it in between those two. I like that, but I'd like to do something a little bit different. Maybe maybe right there. I think that's pretty cool. Now, what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to do some kind of a background behind this so that you can uh, still see these uh, numbers here. There we go. All right, so I think that this layout is looking good. Let me make sure that there's nothing else that needs to be put on there. Oh yeah, we need to put the year on there. So let's see, uh, this aired 1993, I believe. Let's see. Let's make sure. Yep, September 25th, 1993. So, do I already have... I don't have... Okay. So, type that out, and it looks like I was using bold italic. And I am going to bring this baseline down, because I would rather... I'd rather that match up <clears throat> and as a matter of fact I think I'm going to go back and make sure yeah okay yeah that's good so now I'm gonna bring in the kerning just a little bit here not too tight and let's adjust the kerning here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know what? I'm going to duplicate that because <laughs> I want to make sure. Let me look at this. I think that I may have used extra bold italic. So I'm going to do that just for the just for the sake of preserving exactly what I used. Okay, so bring this over, 1993. And let's see, what size were the... Oh, okay, it looks like I didn't actually put it onto the layout itself. That's fine. So convert that to a stroke. And it looks like I'm 
looks like it's probably around a three or a four. I'm just gonna go with five. All right, so I think we can uh, go ahead and uh, we can go we can copy this into Photoshop, and we're using um, 18 by 24. I always add in that extra quarter inch for bleed. Okay, so what this does is this actually gets us, um, it, it gets us our starting point, like where, where what we need to do here. And then these, uh, what I'll do is I'll bring in these shapes individually so that I know exactly where to put them. And that way I can mask my, that way I can mask my images. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is this, uh, this building, so it represents their school. And I'm gonna paste it on top of it and bring this down to where I wanted to fill up that entire shape. Okay, we're gonna align this. Okay, and now I'm just gonna mask it. Um, well, that's not right. There we go. Okay, it was just a little bit off. Okay, so I like this, and I, I actually kind of like that it's cropped this way. I, I actually like that a lot. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm I'm a fan of that. I like that. I think I will keep that um, keep the keep it colorized. And let's go in here. This will be a little bit different because we're gonna. Like I said before, we are going to really, really zoom this up so that you only see scales. I don't want to show the entire animal because I don't want to, um, I don't want the poster to spoil anything. So we're going to zoom this way up to where you only see the scales. That, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's make sure that it still looks good. Um, it is a little bit grainy. But it's not really a big deal because we are going to add some uh, some texture to it, so I think that we'll be okay with that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this bottom layer so that I can bring everything over individually. I just I just did that so that um, uh, so that I can uh, place things. Oops. I always want to keep it a smart object, just in case you want to go back and edit anything. Okay, bring this all the way up to the top, and I think that we had this. I think we had it perfectly aligned vertically. Yeah, and then I will go in and grab this little guy, bring him over, and put him behind there so we can actually read it and then we will go in and select all the text and these boxes right here so that way we can kind of assemble it exactly how we want it to be it's supposed to be inches Okay, looking good. All right, so there's our general layout. Um, I need to choose a background color uh, for this, and I think that I'm gonna go, let's see, let's take a look at the actual episode. There's a lot of greens, a lot of browns, so I think that I'm gonna utilize both of those so let's do solid color. Maybe something like this. It is a little bit richer of a green, especially, well, there's a, there's a part towards the end where you see something that's green. So I think that I will probably bring it a little bit more saturated, but not too much because, you know, green Green is a difficult color to work with, and especially to get it exactly right. So I think that that's good right there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a color overlay and bring this uh, bring this up. 
And maybe I'll do... <clears throat> I kind of like this lighter green right here, but maybe a little bit closer to white. Okay, that's cool. All right, and let's go ahead and change this color maybe to something like, you know, maybe we'll borrow from the school building. I think that's good, but I think what I might do, since it's so close to the building, I might move it up a little bit or move it down. Or we could move it over here. Or how about right here? I think this is good. Bring it up to the top and I will, yep, yeah, okay, that's perfect. So um, vertically aligned there. All right, so since I want these all to match each other, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the PSD file uh, for the vacant lot that I put together. And this is a big file, so let's let it do its thing. Mm -hmm. I'll grab a drink while we're waiting for that. Okay, so what I did here, um, and I'm, I'm actually really glad that I did this, is I did all of my paper overlays in one uh, in one group so that I could easily move them over. So let's do that. We'll just drop it in here. Very nice. Okay, and now we just have to bring over our year. And do I want it? <clears throat> Let's see. Vacant lot is vertical, lonely ghost is horizontal. Hatching, <laughs> diagonal? <laughs> no, probably not. I want, um, I want to take a look at the color that we made this. So I might, I might make these match. Let me see. Let me see if it looks good. It is blending in too much. So I think that what I might do actually kind of like it being around this area. <clears throat> Let's go in and look at the color that we did for this. I think that I'll do this really light mint green for it. Okay, yeah, that looks better. Okay, so maybe align it to the, I may align it to the center of this. I think, okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think that, that I think that looks really cool. All right, um, let me take a look in the PSD file, make sure that there's nothing else that I missed. I think that that's everything. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I wanna take a look at the scales image. And what I might do here is but you know what let me let me do this real fast Th that way it's just it takes out all the guesswork of what I'm doing all right so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add a layer of grain just on top of the oh, let's not do that Uh, it's going to be just on top of the image of the scales, okay? So we're going to bring this down here and above here. Fill it with 50% gray. Camera raw filter. And let's go maybe 75. And 25 is good. And what this does, you know, I, I've covered this, I've covered this in uh, in other videos, but what it does is it just kind of helps to mask 
some of those uh, some of those imperfections. That's interesting. Hard light overlay is generally what I what I end up doing. Um, I think that linear light may be a little bit too harsh. But what I'm what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to cover up some of those imperfections that we got when we enlarge the image. And a grain layer usually does a pretty good job of doing that. So I think that I will keep it. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to see uh, for you guys out there. Um, I may do, I may actually stick with linear light and then just back it off a little bit. Let's take it down to 50 and see what that looks like. Okay, I think 75 is going to be good. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right, so that's it at 100% view. And there is the final uh, poster for Are You Afraid of the Dark? The Tale of the Hatching, as told by David. And so this will be the third in my series of this uh, of this style of posters for these episodes. If you have another, if you have an episode that you'd like me to do one for, let me know in the comments because I love doing these and I love Are You Afraid of the Dark? Most of the episodes are really, really good and some of them are great. Some of them are bad. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you've got if you've got one that you'd like me to do, uh, let me know in the comments and um, I'll be sure to do it. Well, thanks a lot for joining me today. That was really fun. I really enjoy making all of these posters. If you like this video, please hit that like button and hit subscribe at the bottom and it'll keep more videos like this coming directly to you. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.